Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something extra special in store for you. We're going to dive into a glamorous get ready with me session where I'll be creating a stunning hair and makeup look. As many of you know, I'm passionate about makeup and beauty, but there's one personal struggle that I've been facing and that's thinning hair and alopecia. I know that's something that affects many of us and finding the right hair care solutions can be a challenge. So I am very excited to share with you today a product that I've been using and love. So let's dive right in. I'd like to introduce you to the Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer, winner of the prestigious Breakthrough Beauty Award from Allure Magazine 2022. Now watch what happens when I turn it on. Check out the gorgeous green Aurora light. My top reasons for loving this are, number one, I have a very sensitive scalp and using that gentle infrared light actually ensures that I have a really comfortable experience without irritating my scalp. And honestly, anything that's gonna make my hair stronger and reduce my hair loss, including less breakage, is gonna be for me. It's really vital for me to keep what I have left of my hair in great condition, and this hair dryer is helping me do that. Plus it adds an incredible shine with hair appearing 38% shinier than before. And if that wasn't enough, it also ensures 17% smoother strands, leaving you with a silky, luxurious feel. Oh, and did I mention that it helps retain color? Yes, you can enjoy an impressive 57% longer color retention. How amazing is that? It provides up to 109% more internal moisture, making your hair feel nourished and revitalized. This means not only protecting your hair from damage, but also strengthening it by maintaining its natural moisture levels. Healthy hair means beautiful hair. This is the future of hair care powered by light care. It's a revolutionary hair dryer that harnesses the power of infrared light to dry your hair without overheating it. Now, I'll be really honest, I've been kind of stingy with this. It's a luxury hair dryer and I have not wanted to share it with the guys in my house, but I guess we all do deserve fabulous hair, right? I'm gonna have to get better about sharing. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Now, all I'm gonna do to style this is I just pull up the middle section, give it a tease, and then I'm gonna spray it with my big sexy hairspray. Then to add a little texture to my sides, I'm gonna spray with a little spray wax. This one's by Got To Be Glued. And then I'm just gonna toss it with my fingers a little bit. I'm not gonna get too finicky here because when I put my makeup on, it's actually gonna move my hair and I'm gonna have to put it back. Then one final spray of the hair and tousling things just in place and we're ready to jump into makeup. Now I've already done my skin prep and applied my primer in the beginning of the video. So now we're ready for foundation and today I've chosen the Miss Hello Forever Flawless Foundation in the Medium Kit. The medium kit comes with three different colors, so you can blend the perfect color foundation no matter what time of year it is. I chose the lightest of the three colors as a base, and then I'm going to grab the medium color and add just a little bit of color back into my face with it. This is a lovely, lightweight, full coverage foundation, and normally I forget to apply the primer underneath it, and it looks beautiful with and without the primer. Now we're doing a glam look today, and in my opinion, I like a glam look to have some contouring in the cheeks, a little bit on the nose, and I like to use a little bit of the contouring just to sort of warm up the skin, and then provide a base for later on when I put a little blush on. And I'm almost always going to choose a red lipstick for glam looks because it makes me feel confident, fierce, and ready to take on any challenge. Normally, if I'm doing a bold lip or a bold eye, the opposite end of my face, I recommend doing something nude. However, when I'm doing a glam look, I'm gonna pull out all the stops. Using my eyeshadow palette, I'm going to make my eyes look bigger to bring out a sense of enchantment and allure. Because of my eye shape, I'm going to take this up fairly high. And as you'll see, I keep looking into my mirror to see if it's up high enough. With hooded eyes, it's important to bring the makeup up high enough to when you relax your face, you can still see a little bit of it. It doesn't have to be much, just enough to help frame your eyes. Now to help make my eyes look bigger, I'm going to pull this eyeshadow way out to the side. And then I'm gonna blend all around the edges. 
Once I'm done blending, I'm going to take a little bit of that eyeshadow and pull it out toward my temple. And this is gonna help add to making my entire eye look bigger, and you'll see that in the finished product. Then I'm gonna line the top of my lid and my top waterline with my Julep waterproof eyeshadow stick. And then I'm just gonna use my little smudgy brush and smudge it all out. Next, I'm gonna grab that beautiful, deep, chocolatey brown, and I'm just gonna tap it into a dome shape on my lid. And this is really what's gonna provide the depth for the look that I'm going for. Then I'm gonna take that brown color and I'm gonna fill it completely in all the way to my lash line. Once it's filled in, I'm gonna give it a little blend around the edges. And then I thought it would be fun to take that little yellowy green and tap a little bit on my inner eye to just give me a little bit of a brightening there. Once it's tapped in place, I'm just gonna do a couple of one directional strokes to blend, not much there. And then we're adding eyebrows. And this is really where the look begins to come together once I get this eyebrow on. And you guys know how passionate I am about brows and how important I think they are. And this just kind of furthers that. I actually used to do full face makeup, but do nothing to my brows because I didn't even realize it was a thing that needed to be done. And we're not talking about like when I was 25. Of course, it was like that then as well. But we're talking about like three years ago is when I first got a clue. But look at this now. Those eyebrows totally frame the eyes and take the look to a whole nother level. Now let's add some pink blush to balance out those red lips. And then of course, I've gotta have lip gloss. Just a little something shimmery on the lips. Now to keep all this in place all day, we're gonna use our setting spray. Then we're gonna add a little bit more setting spray to a concealer brush, dip it in the concealer and add our concealer, mostly at our inner eye because that's where we're gonna add the most brightness. Then I'm gonna sweep it very lightly under my eye, avoiding where I've put that eyeshadow, just coming lightly under there. And then I'm gonna swoop it up toward my temple, giving myself a little bit of a lifted look. And I'll use that same brush and just chisel out right underneath my cheekbone. Now the rest of this is really just fine tuning. I'm gonna put a little highlight on the top of my nose. I really love what Wayne Goss says about highlighting your nose. He says, highlight your nose up near your eyes and that way you can bring the attention toward your eyes. Then I'm gonna use the tiniest bit of concealer, fill in those nasal label folds, and come down and work on those marionette lines, just bringing a little bit of light to those areas. Now here's a little optical illusion trick for those of us that have that wrinkle in between our eyes. Instead of applying your concealer in this area vertically for brightening, use a zigzag motion. That will confuse the eye and it will not be able to focus on that wrinkle. And the final finishing touch for the concealer is just to put a little tiny bit right under the arch. Watch how this makes the eyes pop. Pa pow Thanks so much for joining me today. Remember, healthy hair means beautiful hair. And with Zuvi Halo, you can achieve just that. Don't forget to visit www.zuvilife.com and use my discount code to get your very own Zuvi Halo. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Until next time, stay fabulous.